the growing despair and disillusionment. In our daily interaction with citizenry, we have noted that the Zambian people, in concert and unanimity, feel that the country needs to heal and come together. The Zambian people express a feeling of disappointment resulting from the discovery that things are not as good as they believed they would be. The Zambian people have a general sense of disillusionment with the politics, economics, and governance of our nation. It is clear that the Zambian people are disillusioned by the political governance of our country. They are displeased by shrinking democratic space, leading to loss of the political democratic space for the political parties and citizens alike. They are stifled by the gagging of citizens through legislation such as the Cyber Security and Cyber Crimes Act and the laws on criminal defamation. They regret that in foreign policy, the country has taken a negative trajectory at regional as well as continental and international levels, putting us unnecessarily at odds with even some of our neighbors. They are distressed that Zambia has lost our hard-won status as the bastion of the liberation struggle and the status of being champions of pan-Africanism. They are despondent with the overcrowding in schools leading to an increased pupil-teacher ratio that was already high and that, over, that and the overworking of teachers leading to their reduced effectiveness. They are discontent with the disruption of supply chains for medical supplies as a result of well-established supply chains being sidelined. They are distressed with the disruption of supply chains because medical suppliers who were doing the job well have now been stopped from giving those items to the people. They are distressed with that there is political interference in matters that should have been left to technocrats. They are mortified that the cholera pandemic reached mortality rates larger than we have ever seen or had since independence. And the clear plan going forward as how not to have a greater re repeat of this crisis going forward is not there. They are dejected by the hostility towards the clergy in our Christian nation. They are alarmed at the shortage of needy meal that is creating a hunger situation and high prices. They are perturbed that there is no plan B to the World Bank and IMF debt restructuring plan. They are confused by the reduction the reduced taxation of mining houses, resulting in the reduced income to the government. Whilst at the same time, you, the ordinary Zambian, who earn very little, are subjected to high taxation. You're being taxed to the bone. They are left with their heads spinning due to the rising cost of living and spiraling inflation as a result of foreign exchange that is in free fall and now at an all-time high, or is it an all-time low? The Zambian people have expressed their disappointment at what is happening and approaching us, demanding that we work in unison 
with all people who wish this great country to fulfill its undoubted potential. Society is disintegrating. There is growing regional polarization. There is political disintegration between and within parties. There are rising venomous exchanges. This delusionment is due to a number of factors. There is no doubt that the challenges the nation faces have left the Zambian people deluded, duped, misrepresented, misinformed, tricked, fooled, misguided, beguiled, took in, hoodwinked, bluffed, and hoaxed. We need to make Zambians to start again feeling satisfied, contented, pleased, happy, joyful, gratified, delighted, blissful, jubilant, triumphant, and elated. That is where we should take that. People have been calling upon the government to call an endeavor in view of the dire economic situation we find ourselves in. Government has not responded to this call.